broadcast station. Welcome to Crimson Guitars, or, to be more precise, welcome to my tiny workshop. This is going to be a limited tool build because I don't have my factory. I am taking this. Yes, that's how close the next wall is. I am taking this. This is one of Crimson's uh, SRP kits. And finally, build. A Cyberpunk 27 inspired build, guitar, theme. I'm going to rip it up, I'm going to completely change it, and I'm going to prove what can be done with a quality kit guitar, i.e. you can take it and make something totally unique. I don't have the first clue what I'm going to do with these inlays yet. That will come later in the build. And if I route exactly along this line here, I will almost exactly be matching that line there. Uh, this design will change. I'm going to cut the whole body in half. It's going to continue all the way along that line to there. I'm part way there. I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. Now, now that we've done this, you can see how offline that looks. Now, it's not. It's, it's bang on the center line, but it just looks totally wrong. I'm, I'm going to ruminate on this for a little while. What do you think? This sucks. Uh, I've broken two blades so far and I am three inches in. It must be this sawdust slowly, slowly accumulating. I'm using muscles in my hand and my arm that I've never used before in my life. <sighs> so we went through three blades to there, four, number four was there, number five was to there, number six was to there, so those didn't really work very well. And that's number seven. 
so far. Wow. Gosh, this hurts. Okay, we are now at, so that was number seven, that was number eight, that was number nine. I'm actually on blade number 10 right now, and we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> That's the gap. That is, that is not good. It was absolutely perfect right up until the last saw blade. So we're gonna remove all of that material and fill it with something else. Always put your tools away as you go. Okay, so what I need to do now is get rid of that horrible bulge. And again, we're in the vice. I'm, I'm doing things with this build that I have not done before. I am playing with things that I have not really played with before. Okay, I have got some 40% ferric chloride acid here. Um, it's fairly relaxed stuff. I just want to see what this looks like, uh, slightly buffed up. <laughs> okay. I, I like that. But what I discovered here is I've still got my lines. Now, onto that router. That's where my sound holes are. And there. So we'll see where my finger is. My cavity is a good two inches away. Now that I've actually got access from the side, I should be able to drill in from this angle and get most of the way to where I want. Same thing, I'm gonna be able to drill through where the sound hole is gonna be. I'm gonna be able to drill in through the side of the pickup cavities. This reminds me of a, an Adam Savage video I watched the other day where uh, he said, I want this to be exceedingly precise or, or words to that effect. And then he eyeballed where to drill a hole, which is exactly what I've just done there. <laughs> oh, hell yeah.
I mean, I know I'm the guy saying it, and I'm the guy doing it, but yeah. What I'm thinking here is, much like I said on the back, that I thought it would be a good idea to recess below the level of the back of the guitar, have a, an angled recess and then have the plate sort of five mil lower. Uh, I think I would like to carry that theme on, on this plate here. I really, really like the look of that. There we go. So uh, here's, here's where we are. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this bit, I really am. What I've got is holes that are at the depth that I require. I also need these circly bits to be at the exact same depth. So I'm going to, I'm going to drill uh, so that the center of my drill bit is there. I'm going to drill holes to the same depth all the way around. I'm going to do the bevels, fit it in, see what it looks like. I don't have to cut all the excess away, really. I don't have to, so why do it? When I allow myself to do outlandish things, then I get ideas that can be incorporated into a more traditional guitar, as much as anything else. I absolutely love doing, making the videos, filming stuff. I enjoy going crazy and experimenting. But this plate is covering up uh, the, the nuclear power that uh, uh, gives this guitar life. And uh, well, it needs to have a, a warning symbol on it. And I have finally now decided what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna make that sort of an effect.
we've got a curve that way, we also want one that way. This is where it's going to get confusing. A little bit of tension in that, but that's not too bad actually. And it fits the shape quite nicely. You may be asking yourself, what is he going to do about those recesses around the control knobs? Oh, spot on. Okay. Well, that worked. I think we're good to go. What do you think of that, everybody? Of course, it was a glue up and uh, it sucked a little bit because all glue ups suck. Welcome to another day. We're back. We're bad. And well, the glue has cured. What do you think? That this morning at half past seven, I would have a bunch of people delivering this. And putting it up. Because, you know, whoa, camera work. Because the last time I it just, yeah, it's just let the professionals get on and do it.
Now, here is what we're playing with. Basically, we're gonna take a bunch of pieces of Perspex that have been glued together, do, 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 like so. But in order to get to that, we need to make sure that the guitar is actually exactly as it is supposed to be. All right, I've obviously got some fitting to be done. We're, we're high there, we're a bit high there actually as well. You just can't beat blue LEDs. I'm 90% of the way. There we go. Check it out. I really like these. And I thought we could potentially have something like that with this free floating. And then as you tighten it, it pulls everything together. How much longer are these than they need to be? Yeah. All right, fine. Cut them down. Okay, so that's sort of just pulling it slightly off axis there. Uh, we've done it. We have. We've done it. Well, there we go. Et voilà. Let's see if it we're after. Ha <laughs> ha! Success, success, we have success.
Uh, I'm actually going to drill into the Perspex and I'm just going to run LEDs all the way down. Here we go. That looks so gosh darn cool. So the plan is to take a bunch of these fretboards, cut them into little wedges, essentially, at that angle, glue them together. The end result will be a grid-like pattern. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Pretty much done. moment of truth. Ha! Success. Well, that worked out a bit all right, didn't it? I'm very happy.
Let's have a closer look then. This is uh, Crimson's Royal Blue Stone.
Uh, all right, you beautiful people, it is the next day and I have not slept a wink thinking about these LEDs. I lie through my teeth, I slept really well. Basically, we have two test rig things just done. The guitar's in, don't she look pretty? The amp is there and on. Sustain for days. This is our little LED that doesn't flash. This here is one of the flashing LEDs. As I said, it's not an unpleasant noise, except for the fact that it's not supposed to be there. This looks far too nice. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> I'm having a blast there. <laughs> okay, we're done, I think. Maybe. I didn't want too many dents and dints and scratches. It just looks like it's been in a fiery environment. That needs more, that needs more up there. All right, thank you for watching. This has been, this has been an interesting one. Uh, I really do want to hear what you think in the comments below. I want you to tell me if you think I'm finished. I'm incredibly happy with this. We have gone from no workshop to a tiny shed to a bigger workshop that still is not complete yet. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. And uh, if you're going to unsubscribe because I basically read it to guitar, please let me know in the comments below before you do. Burn it.